What's up YouTube, welcome to another Xmodder 077 video. Today we'll be looking at this Douglas DC-10-30. The DC-10 is a series of twin out wide body, medium to long range trijets. It consists of three General Electric CF6-50C turbofan engines, with two on either side of the wings and one up the fuselage at the bottom of the vertical stabilizers. The DC-10s are manufactured by American McDonnell Douglas. The initial flight took place on August 29, 1970. And officially entered commercial service with American Airlines in August 1971. This model was designed to replace the single out medium to long range DC 8s. With enhanced passenger capacity and better fuel efficiency, this jet has a very unique design, especially where the engines were installed, which gives it a unique look. I personally like its round look and its tail engines. The first DC 10-10 model had a range of only about 3,500 nautical miles. Then the improved DC 10-15 had more powerful engines for harsher operating conditions like high elevation and high temperature, which requires more speed and power to take off. The succeeding DC-10-30 and 40 models had more weight and thus adding a third set of main landing gears, and also with an increased range to about 5,200 nautical miles. This plane here is a DC-10-30. Now, if you happen to know a little bit about this plane, you'll probably know its bad reputation. Yes, sadly, it has one of the worst, I can say, safety records. So even though I draw on you, I don't dare to fly on you. If you Google DC-10 accidents, you're gonna see a ton of them. The cargo door actually got blown open on American Airlines Flight 96 in June 1972, but luckily no one was killed in that accident. Yes, the initial models had a cargo door design flaw. The real disaster, however, came on May 25, 1979 on American Airlines Flight 191. This DC-10-10 was scheduled to fly from Chicago O'Hare International Airport to Los Angeles International Airport, carrying a total of 271 people on board. However, this time it's not the cargo door that malfunctioned. It's actually the wing clevis on the left wing that failed which detached itself from the plane during takeoff due to poor maintenance by American Airlines, making the left engine fall off of the plane, and then caused the plane to lose control, lose its balance, and eventually crash onto the ground 31 seconds after lifting off the runway. This horrible disaster caused the FAA to get all DC-10s grounded until the problem was solved. So yeah, kind of like the 737 Maxes right now. And then 10 years later, in 1989, another major DC-10 crash happened. So in this accident, the top turbofan engine exploded, damaged all three hydraulic systems on the plane. That was United Airlines Flight 232. Because the hydraulic systems were damaged, the plane couldn't do anything but turn right, and the crew actually crash-landed the plane at Sioux City Gateway Airport. You can check out more information about it on Google. I'll also link a video in the description below of an actual simulation of the accident, so make sure you check that out. And let's get back to the DC-10. So the production stopped in 1989 due to its bad record and fuel inefficiency when compared to its new competitor, the Airbus A300. And the DC-10 ended up with 386 commercial versions built, and was succeeded by the McDonnell Douglas MD-11, which is still in cargo service today. Now tell me in the comment section below on what plane video I should make next. 
It could be remastering one of our previous planes, either the 737-800 or the A321, or even a brand new plane. Also, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to get yourself subscribed so you don't miss any new contents. And leave some likes and comments as well. As always, this is xmother 77 and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay home and stay safe!